Welcome YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Russell J. Gould appears to be the gift that keeps on giving because he just went on this podcast here, the colon truth hyphen stream. And as you can see here at the bottom, we have a colon space. And then in italics, we have truth stream and then a colon space. And then all this quantum gobbledygook, which is not quantum grammar at all because it's in italics. It's not even there. This is quantum gobbledygook where it says colon space because that is not correct. That is not the correct way to write a name. And the title of the video down here is not correct either. But let's get the introduction here so you can get a basic sense of what's going on here and what this video is about. Uh, this is standard practice uh, for this individual, Russell J. Gould, and his grammar and the people that follow him, his worshipers. Uh, they do the same, perform the same mistakes, void correctness. So let's find out what's going on here. Oh whoa whoa! Let's look at uh, let's look at this first of all. Okay, we have the word through. That is an incorrect positional. Video document and audio video documentary with the vacate copy facts. Vacate story spinoffs. Copying ing is a particle of negation. Within is an incorrect positional. It's actually not a positional. Uh, document with the viewing, another ING, ING. Claim life citizen, life story, disclaimer, author, plenipotentiary judge, post professor, bank banker, comptroller. Comptroller is actually a misspelling of controller, which has a particle of negation, contra, in it. This uh, Vatican C. Pope Master, Commander Chief, Post Office General of our. Foreign World Postal Banking. Now again, this is this claim, all these claims of titles. Uh, I mean, if you consented to it, then I guess, yes, he would be your Postmaster General. But if you did not consent to it, then it's not your world. It's their world. Kind of like the Declaration of Independence or your birth certificate. You really had nothing to do with it because your autograph is not on the contract. So if you're not contracting with this individual, then this does not apply to you. With this now space docketing, now, by the way, <laughs> believe it or not, now is non-tangible contract and it's a no contract word. You can look that up, by the way. It just takes a little bit of time to look it up in an etymology dictionary. By this Federal Postal Service Station Corporation, Military Postal Service Station Corporation, Special Military Market, Marshal, Field Court, Marshal, Summary, Judgment, Command, Treaty, and Quantum Banking System. Corporation Treaty. Okay, so it's talking about a treaty, but we don't see a treaty here. I don't see a treaty at all. I don't know what's going on here. And those positionals that I showed you that are not correct completely throw this into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble territory.
Welcome to Truth Stream. I'm Russell Hyphen J. Colin Gould. I'm the honorable guest of two honorable hosts, Joe Colin Rosati and Scott Stone. It's an honor to be here, guys. It, it's an honor to have you. Um, I, I got to say, we we met Russell in um, Anaheim last weekend, and just it, we were fortunate enough that he reached out and um, well, his team reached out to us to do this interview. Yes, that is uh, that's about the size of things, actually. You remember back in the day when Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller was around and he had his website? He would put his phone number on the website, his email, his actually home address would be on the website. Anybody could call him up and talk to him. I know that because I did. For the last year of his life, he was very easy to get a hold of. I also was able to get a hold of Russell because he used to publicly give out his email address. But as soon as Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller passed away... Russell began to limit or bottleneck his availability until eventually it became so that no one can get a hold of him because he does not have a public email address. He has basically a wall of people that you have to go through and you may not even get to talk to him. Uh, I guess that uh, <laughs> that privilege is only given to those people who can pay on his Patreon, perhaps. Uh, you have to pay to talk to him, which is a direct you know, dichotomy to the way David Wynn Miller uh, conducted himself. He was freely open to the public. You could talk to him anytime. And actually, I myself, if I may interject myself in here, I have tried to model my construct safely on David Wynn Miller's construct, where I do make myself available to the public. My email address at the bottom of your screen. Uh, if you email me, I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation where we can actually do a video consult and talk to each other face to face for 10 to 15 minutes. And the only cost for that is your now space. Uh, but Russell, Russell is, uh, he's behind the paywall. He's behind, he has a line of defense. He doesn't navigate like that anymore at all so that's a huge difference that i noticed uh, so his team reaching out is interesting because his team once well actually a couple times reached out to me and i do have the emails on file to prove it one individual reached out to me and asked me if i would go public and ask come on to a radio show it was winifred adams show come on there as a guest like a someone asking questions and ask only positive questions so that they could cast the chief in a good light or a positive light. The way it was worded led me to believe that there was something negative about chief. And when I say chief, I'm using their words, the way they used to describe that guy right there, that something negative was going on and they wanted someone like me to sort of acquiesce in the public to sort of bolster him up. And of course, my coolie on a back was, you know, he's a big boy, you know. As he says, you win or lose by how you choose. So however he conducts himself in the public, in the private, in the big things or the little things is how he's going to be perceived by the public. How he behaves is how he's going to be judged. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to modify that in some stupid way by coming on with some fake pretense of asking questions that I don't need answers to. I already know the answers to these questions. And I certainly know the answers to any questions I would have about that guy. Uh, but let's move on to the main part of why I posted this, why I'm posting this reaction video. The law of the flag. Because whoever is the bearer or owner of the flag can sets the terms of contract when the terms come into port or into a bank or into court, right? Or in your now space. So what I did, which was so different, is that I figured out when the United States Corporation was coming out of bankruptcy. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, the United States is past tense. It's a corporation. It's fiction babble. He's talking about fiction babble mechanics. 
and I took the flag away from him. He took the flag away from him. He took the flag away from them, meaning they had something, and then he took it from them. They didn't give it to him willingly. He took it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an act of war. David used the term capture. When you capture something, you are taking it against its will or against the holder's will. That's an act of war. And by David and Russell's own words, war negates contract. And claimed it under copyright. Now, the quantum banking system and the quantum grammar is copyrighted technology. The reason that is, the volition behind that is if you were to make it open source, the bad guys who already know this technology would use it against the people and never comply. That, ladies and gentlemen, is flat out incorrect. There are principles built into correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar that would negate the bad guys using it for anything. The bad guys already have all they need in the fiction to do what they need to do. You cannot use quantum grammar for bad. It will not work. Because you have the balance of the honor and the grace, position of peace, neutrality, maintenance of rule one, rule equal. You cannot use it for malicious purposes. It just will not work that way. And if you have closure on the grammar, you would know this. Which leads me to two conclusions about this man. Either number one, he knows this, but is purposely saying what he's saying for whatever reason. He's deliberately teaching or promulgating incorrect mechanics. Or number two, he doesn't know, and he doesn't have closure on the grammar, and he thinks he's correct, meaning you don't know what you don't know. It's either one of those two things. I can't think of a third option. And either one of them, either one of them is bad news for his worshipers and followers because neither one are correct. Neither one of those, those uh, options are correct. And so that's why I've maintained the copyright integrity of the, of the correct communication, of the quantum grammar, right? And the title for flag, right? Again, if you're going to have or claim a copyright on a grammar technology, wouldn't you first have to have closure on the technology that you're claiming? If you are an author, if you have authority, that means you are an author. It means you are authorized to use it, meaning you're an author. You authorize it. You write it. You're an author. You create the contract, the grammar. But if it's not correct, and you don't have that knowledge, then you don't have authorization to do that. Because you don't have the knowledge to do it. You're not correct. Again, perhaps you don't know what you don't know, or perhaps you do know, and you're doing it anyways, for some reason that's kept secret from the public. I'm not making assumptions. I'm offering possibilities. Uh, logically with my own mind, as this is a video of opinion. I'm just offering some things, show, pointing some things out that have been in my mind ever since the beginning in 2017 when I began studying this stuff. Questions about this man and the things that he does and the way he behaves and the way he treats other people. I think there's not a whole bunch of owners of the flags. There, there's usury of it, and I get out of the way and let people control their own world because I have terms that I comply with within, within my corporate structure, right? And I've had to honor those. It's been a tough road to hoe. I'm telling you flat out. Right? It's not been easy because, like I said, nobody cared in 1999. Nobody cared in 2001. Nobody cared in 2004, right? Nobody cared. They were busy being spun up on false narratives, the media did a masterful job at the psychological psyops on the people of the world. And all of a sudden, we, we outsourced all of our kindness for meanness by going racing off to 
false pretenses of war. Outsourced all of our kindness for meanness. That's interesting, considering the behaviors of this man, personally speaking from a personal standpoint, towards me and others. Outsourced kindness for meanness. That's a very interesting statement. And in doing so, we unleashed a huge yoke and burden because the outside world looked as the American people as the problem. The American people are good people. We love our families, we love our lives, we love other people around us. Unfortunately, we've been tricked in the straw man situation where we, we didn't know our head from, head from tails. So as we look at that and we look at the value of how to choose a leader, you know, leaders are chosen by those who don't make mistakes. Why is it if this man would rather, well, if this man truly navigates in a factual way, supposedly, allegedly, why do you need a leader? Why wouldn't everyone be autonomy if you truly wanted to participate with rule one, rule equal on a geometric level playing field? Why would you want a leader? Why logically, now I'm thinking logically, wouldn't you want everyone to be educated equally, rule one, rule equal, everyone navigate as equals. No leaders, just everybody autonomous. You don't need anyone's permission to do anything except do your own thing or make joinder with others and make contract, honorable, graceful contract, rule one, rule equal, peace, neutrality. Why would you promulgate the authoritarian system that's the fiction. The fiction promotes authoritarianism and leadership. The fiction does that. Autonomy, in fact, dictates, <laughs> dictates, that's a funny word to use, directs that everyone takes stewardship of their own construct. Leave the leaders to those sheep that need leaders to follow. Think for yourself, be your own man or woman. Why wouldn't he be on board with that? Why? I'm just throwing some things out there. Why would he pr be promoting an authoritarian sort of militaristic construct, which is a mirror image of the fiction system just in, in the uh, quantum gobbledygook? They're chosen by, we, by the people, right? I've put myself into a leadership position because there were no people there because they were all on the birth certificate system. So I stepped outside that paradigm with my claim of the life and I claimed my life. And then I learned about the different facets of sovereignty, which took me down on many trails. Like I said, you can be sovereign in your heart, but at, at some point you got to put it on paperwork, right? Paperwork has to have the fee for freight. For, there's, there's mechanical things that happen there. And this is where the contract world has jurisdiction over the sword even though you, any fool can go off and kill. Yes, I, that is true. But a real warrior uses wisdom, gets full closure, and makes sure that the needs are balanced on both ends to make before they make a decision to hurt someone. Right? So this wisdom. Okay, so I just wanted to comment on the warrior part. If you are making a claim of warrior then war is what you're going to get. So how about, I mean, if you truly want peace and neutrality and, and wisdom, do away with that authoritarian system. Do away with the warrior stuff. And just be an autonomous authority. No war necessary. Because your fate is determined by how you communicate and the words you use. And if you use a word like warrior... Well, then warriors, what you're going to get. But let's listen to this next part that he said. I'm going to uh, have him repeat it. Gets full closure and make sure that the needs are balanced on both ends to make before they make a decision to hurt someone. To make sure the needs are balanced on both ends before they make a decision to hurt someone. So outsourcing kindness for meanness. So, Russell, how does this apply to your... 
uh, the page on your website where you are slandering numerous multiple people who, from what I've seen, have only a positive volition. Is it only because they won't bow down to you? And that that's what you really want? Is that you want people to bow down to you? I mean, as a leader? Is that sort of an ego thing? Hmm. All right. So this, these are things that we have to be very cautious on. And this is all done through contract, right? This is where needs are placed out on contract. And contract is by consent. So I think I've heard enough. Uh, of this video but I just wanted to put this out there to show yet another dichotomy regarding this man right here the things he says versus the things that he actually does they do not line up so thank you for joining me uh, if you want to learn the grammar you too can contact me at this email address and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute consultation with you to see if that's what you want to do. You can apply for a workshop or you can study the over 400 videos on this channel and also become a member. And if you'd like to get exclusive content not available to the public, you can choose tier two of the membership. And I greatly appreciate it because you support this vessel. Keep it healthy and keep it going. And keep me able to use commitment, uh, equipment and things like that uh, to keep making these videos. Thank you.